I'm Judith, food and travel editor of the Gourmet Travelista. Now, if there's something that I love to have on a Sunday, it's roast beef. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to make the best ever roast beef. So what you'll need is a three pound eye round beef roast. We have two onions here, uh, which we've sliced into quarter inch uh, rings. We have two cups of beef broth. We have one cup of red wine. We have three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. We have a quarter cup of ketchup. We have two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, and one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Now, we've preheated our oven uh, behind me to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, so we're getting that nice and warm for our roast beef. And we have here our roasting pan, which we've lightly sprayed with some cooking spray. So, first things first, let us get our onion rings and place them down on the bottom of our roasting pan. And these are gonna tenderize and cook first and just give a great flavor to our, to our beef. So these onions will also elevate our beef to keep it off the bottom of the pan so it cooks evenly. So on top of that, we're gonna add our lovely red wine. And this is great on a Sunday afternoon. You can have a little glass of red wine and then pour your red wine on top of your onions, that goes. And then we'll get our piece of meat and we'll put it on top like so. Fantastic. Let's mix up our little sauce that we're gonna do now. So let's get our ketchup. Our teriyaki goes in here too. our mustard in as well and our balsamic vinegar so we'll whisk all that up together and that is just going to give a really great robust flavor for our beef now we're going to take two tablespoons of our mix and we're going to reserve that for our gravy later so we're just going to eyeball this right now take about two tablespoons We'll save that for later. Great. Okay, so with the remainder of our sauce, we're gonna spread our beef with. So let's just baste it like so on the top and on the sides of our piece of meat. So we'll keep basting away with our sauce and we'll leave her a little bit um, in the bowl to baste it later as it cooks. So now we're gonna roast our beef for about an hour and 15 minutes or until um, it gets to a temperature of about 140 degrees Fahrenheit using a, a thermometer right there. So we'll put it in the oven and we'll come back to it. Fantastic, so we've taken our roast beef out of the oven, we've removed the meat and we've put it onto a, a cutting board right here and we've also removed our lovely onions, put it into a bowl and we're just gonna cover both of them with a little bit of foil and set them aside for the moment while we make a little bit of our sauce. So we'll get our bowl and we'll put in our tomato mixture. And we're gonna add half a cup of water to that mixture. And then we're gonna add in our flour. So we're gonna give that a good whisk up to create a nice kind of gravy sauce. So once all that is whisked in together, we're gonna put our roasting pan that we use for our meat. Make sure it's a metal roasting pan. We don't want any glass going on there, obviously. So medium heat of that. And then we're gonna add in our beef broth. And we're just gonna stir that round a little, picking up any of the brown pieces that we had. And we're gonna put that there for two minutes. Great, so it's been about two minutes and now we're gonna add in our flour mixture to get that lovely thick gravy. So we're gonna whisk that in and let it thicken for about three minutes. So our gravy now is lovely and thick, oozing with flavor, and that's ready just to serve up. We'll put that in a nice bowl, ready to serve up with our roast beef. 
So we'll just set that aside one moment. And now we'll carve our roast beef. So that's rested a little while, looking great, smelling even better. And we're just gonna very thinly slice this, like so. Let's get our, get a good hold of it. Fantastic, and look at that, beautiful, beautiful piece of meat right there. Nice and tender. Looking good. And we'll serve it with a few of our onions, lovely, soft, tender onions right there. And last but not least, a nice lashing of our beautiful, thick, gravy all over that. Oh, isn't that just divine? And you can serve that with some mashed potatoes, maybe some broccoli, and that is a perfect Sunday lunch. There you go. I have showed you how to do the best ever roast beef. Thanks for watching today, everyone, and make sure to subscribe to our website to watch plenty of other fantastic videos. And if you have any email requests, you can email requests at mahalo.com and we'll be sure to answer any questions and queries you might have.